welcome back viewers in this series of video we are going to make one online shopping website we will use python and uh, flask python framework flask so let's start open your terminal and uh, i will make it in desktop and wherever you want you can make your main directory there and cd desktop and inside desktop here uh, i will make one folder make directory of my shop i will navigate to the my shop and here inside i will make the other folders mkdr and uh, first will be customers and uh, second will be admin and then will be products and then will be cards and I will make then templates and then will be statics and if we ls here you can see these folders and uh, now so if the virtual environment not installed in your system you can install it by using pip install like this you can see it's already installed and here you have to create one virtual environment you can create it like this python dash m v e and v then name of your folder where whatever you want to keep so i will make it my v e and v and then hit enter now it's created if you do ls you can see the folder here my env so it's created here let's activate it do source then name of that folder and then bin in mac and script in window so then activate then you can see here it's rounded with parentheses so from now you can install the package we will install first of all we will install here flask pip install flask so flask is installed successfully then second here will be pip install flask dash sql alchemy then enter and you can see it's installing now and it's installed successfully i will open vs code now so here is the vs code i will create here one one file this file name will be run dot file after run i will create here one folder later i will put my all folder inside that folder so here will be shop inside the shop i will create double underscore in it double underscore dot pi and second one will be the here routes dot pi and these two files then you can go to google here for the flask so you can write flask sql alchemy then first line here and then and you can read all documentation so i am just taking these things to make it faster and come to the init and paste it inside init file so why this init don't have the i forgot to put the dot here so now you can see and uh, i will remove these slash and if you wish you can change the name here name of the your database file so i will keep it my d uh, my shop and here will be three slash and everything is fine from here now go to route 
and from flask import render render template and uh, session render template session a request a redirect and url for there are many now just we are going using this one from shop import app and dbso this is the name of database we will use it later not now and now i will make one endpoint this endpoint name here is app dot route give the slash this will be the main part then define the function i will make give the name this one to home and here i will write return and here i write here home page of your shop and we are done from here i will come to an in init again i will register that root here so from shop import routes and name of this file so we are done from here and now come to run.py this file here from shop import app here we just need app then come little bit down then f double underscore name then double underscore double equal and then uh, quotation and then double underscore my double underscore and then here we will do it app dot run and uh, inside parenthesis we will write debug equal to true so when you are in production you have to make it false so now, now this time it's we make it true so now let's run it and you can see it's running now here so let's go to localhost 5000 and here you can see this is your home page of your shop so that's all for this video Thank you very much. See you in next video. Take care. Bye-bye.